Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we will learn about what is subflow in Flow Designer and why we use subflow in Flow Designer. And also we will create one subflow with practical demo. So first, a subflow is a reusable sequence of actions that can be added to multiple flows, guys. So you will be creating subflow with some actions like we can create in flows that you can reuse the sequence of actions again and again in multiple flows guys okay. So for example you don't want to rewrite the code again and again for multiple flows. So this is where the subflows come into picture. You can reuse these subflows in your flow okay. So first we will create one subflow. Before that uh, the use case is guys. Once the incident record has been created, we will send email to users manager, okay, that caller manager and also we will verify whether the email has sent properly to that manager or not using one output. So, let's create one subflow first. Type as flow designer. Click on subflow. And the name of the subflow should be send email using subflow. And you can write the description here as well. And the application is global application. So currently I am not touching all these options. So let's click on the submit. So if you see here we have two sections like inputs and output. Here we have to provide inputs and outputs as well. Okay. So, first let's provide inputs here. Click on this plus icon. So, first let's the first input is manager. Okay. And it is referencing to user table. So, this is a user table. And the second one is incident. And this is referencing to incident table. Okay. So here I am going to make these two inputs as mandatory. Let's toggle this mandatory option. Okay. Now we have to create one output as well. As I said, so, to check whether that email has sent properly to the manager or not using output, we can verify that. Okay. So, let's create one output like email flag. Okay. So, this is our output called email flag and this is the integer type. So, here we have defined two inputs and one output. So, let's click on done. So, we have successfully provided the inputs and outputs here. So, here using that uh, send email action, we have to send email to callers manager, right? So, let's click on this, click on action and type as send email. Let's check this. So, our target record is this incident. Okay, let's drag and drop here. To whom that caller manages email, right? So, let's expand this manager and search for email of that manager okay here we have so let's drag and drop here and let's name the subject as incident record has been created via subflow and we can mention the body as well so let's copy this so that's all so this is the body of that the email let's click on done see here using send email action we have uh, provided the target record and in the two we have updated the manager's email okay this is the subject of the email okay and this is the body let's click on done so as i said we have to define one output right so let's click on this and click on flow logic and type as assign assign subflow outputs okay we are going to assign the outputs here. Let's click on plus icon. And type as the output name which we have created few seconds ago. That is called email flag, right? Let's click on that. And we will give the data as 1. Since it is an integer, I am giving the data as 1. Okay. Let's click on done. 
Yes, we have successfully created our subflow. First, we have created the inputs and outputs. After that, using send email action, we are sending email to call us manager's email. Okay, after that, here we are assigning our subflow outputs as well. So, now let's click on save and we will publish this subflow. Make sure that, guys, we have to publish this subflow, otherwise, it won't be visible in our flow. Okay, first, let's save this subflow and let's click on this publish. Now we will create one flow and we will call this subflow in our flow. Okay. To call us manager. Click on submit. Yeah, in the trigger condition here we have to select created. Okay. So this should trigger when the incident record has been created. Right. So our table is incident. Let's click on done. Let's save this workflow. So this is a subflow, right? Which we have created. The name of the subflow is send email using subflow. Let's copy this subflow. And we have to call that subflow, right? Then click on this subflow. So this is a subflow which we have created. Let's click on that. Here we have to provide uh, two inputs here and here we have wait for completion checkbox also. So here we have wait for completion checkbox also. It will wait for this subflow to be complete and then only it will go ahead with the another actions. Okay. So the manager is, uh, we have to select the manager here and this should be dynamic. Click on this incident, expand this incident record. Expand this caller, caller manager, right? So here we have manager. Let's drag and drop here. And we have to provide the incident record as well. So let's drag and drop here and click on done. So now we have to read that output of that subflow, right? So now let's click on this action and type as log here. So this is used to write the logs on service now logs guys. Okay, let's click on this log here. And the message should be like. Email has sent. And we will pass this. And let's drag and drop this email flag to here. Okay, now let's click on done. So this is a flow guys here in the trigger condition we have selected created option. So which table incident table right and after that we have called that subflow in your flow. So which we have created few minutes back and after that we have to read that output of that subflow right. So we have taken the log action here. Okay this is our flow and this is a subflow where we have taken the inputs and outputs here and after that using send email action we are sending email to call us manager email. Okay after that we are assigning the flow outputs as well. So now let's create one incident record. So let's save and activate this flow first of all. Let's click on new. So let's check who is the manager of this able tutor. See Adela. Sir Wangdid is the manager of this able. So let's save this record. We have created the incident record, right? So now let's check the email logs. So let's type as outbox here. See here, this is the subject of our email, right? Incident has been created via subflow. So let's double check that. See, incident has been created via subflow. Okay. So let's open this record. Yeah, this is the subject which we defined our, in our subflow. So here, recipient is Adela. Okay, this Adela is the manager email of that caller. Okay, who is the caller here? Able tutor, right? And for the able tutor, see Adela is the manager. And what is the email of this Adela? 
Adela servants at see Adela servants at example dot com right. And this is the body which we have written here. Incident has been created via subflow. Okay. So here email has sent uh, successfully to that call us manager. Now let's check the output also. So now let's click on all and type as log here. Click on all. And let's take the message of that log. Okay. So what is the message here we have? Email has sent, right? So let's copy this and paste in the message here. Type as and click enter. See, we also received output. Okay. Email has sent and this one is nothing but the email flag, guys, which we have defined in our output. Okay. So see in assign flow outputs. We have defined the email flag as one right. This is the integer. And this is the message email has sent. Okay followed by that integer so here we have successfully uh, received the log also so that means the email has sent properly to the manager so this is how you can use the subflows in flow designer guys you don't need to rewrite the code again and again for multiple flows mm, you can create one subflow and you can use that uh, uh, subflow wherever you want in the flow you can create one subflow and you can reuse that subflow in multiple flows okay wherever you want so that is the importance of subflows in flow designer i hope this video will help you to understand about what is subflow and, and how we use subflows in flow designer if you guys have any doubts related to subflows then please comment in comment section and also if you really like this video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you guys